hard to believe that I am on my seventh box of Octavia Fuelings already, but I thought it might be fun for you to see what I ordered this time and maybe some new treats that I haven't ordered in the past or that I haven't ordered in a long time. So come unbox my Fuelings with me. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Octavia's 5-in-1 program. As part of the 5-in-1 program, the 5 part are fuelings that come to you each month in your Octavia box. You get to pick your own fuelings, you can decide what you want to eat, you can choose the things that you like and leave out the things that you don't. There are so many different options, you never have to have something that you don't like. Before I open the box up and show you my fuelings, I would like to invite you to please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos that have recipes that are suitable for the 5-in-1 program, Lean and Green recipes, but those also fit into a lot of the keto, gluten-free, sometimes Weight Watchers or Whole30 parameters. So check out the recipe videos that I do. I also do a weekly reality check where I show you my, the progress that I've been making on this program, which is really exciting. And I do other tips and tricks and fun things like that. So please um, hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this. So what did I get this month? Let's take a peek. All right. I'm pretty consistent in what I like to eat. So my first fueling in the morning is typically a bar. I don't have to make a shake. I don't have to cook a waffle or anything like that. It's just open and go with my coffee. It makes a great first fueling. Um, so what I normally do is either the zesty peanut butter or the, the double peanut butter crisp bar or the cinnamon spice bar. I like both of those. Um, so I got two boxes of the creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. Uh, this is like one of my very favorite fuelings. So that one was definitely in the box. But instead of doing the cinnamon spice one this time, I decided I was going to co come back to two different fuelings that I had had, two bars that I had had near the beginning of my journey. One of them is the drizzled berry crisp bar. This one kind of reminds me of the Kellogg's um, Special K bar with the strawberry. It kind of has that similar flavor. And then the Zesty Lemon Crisp is also really good. Just got a little bit of a tang to it. Um, really good. Um, so those are kind of my breakfast. That should carry me through most of the month with a couple of days to spare. And I'll throw in a hot chocolate or um, something along those. I also have extra bars, so I, I have plenty to carry me over. Uh, my second fueling of the day is um, typically more of a breakfasty item. I will do uh, either the golden pancake or the golden chocolate chip pancake, um, typically as a waffle, sometimes as pancakes. Um, I will do the um, the buttermilk uh, cheddar and herb biscuit. So I have do I have one box of these? Or do I have two boxes of these? I have one box of these this time. Um, sadly, all of the select fuelings are getting discontinued and a couple of them are like my favorite fueling. So uh, I didn't stock up on this box because I didn't know about that until after I my order had already been processed. But this next order that I've already changed it, so I've got four boxes of these coming in my next box um, because I love that buttermilk cheddar herb biscuit. Um, that's the other thing that I will do. Um, I will do the oatmeal, the new formulation of the apple, um, oatmeal. I've had, I got it in my last box and I will say it is really good. Uh, it is, I did not like either of the oatmeals before they were reformulated. I, th there was just something about them that I didn't like. It was not only the texture, it was almost like they had no flavor. Um, it was just weird. I didn't like them at all. So I was kind of hesitant to get the apple oatmeal, but I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot and it actually was pretty phenomenal. 
So um, I got this time the maple and brown sugar oatmeal, which has also been reformulated. And if you are a current Optavia client, um, the way you know whether or not you have the old formula or the new formula is the old formula of oatmeal called for either two thirds or three quarters of a cup of water. The new formula only calls for a half a cup of water and that's not the change in it that actually is uh, better tasting. Now, I haven't tried the maple and brown sugar yet, um, but I do plan on doing it. And the way that I do it since I don't have a microwave is I mix it up with the half a cup of water and I put it in one of the paper ramekins because I don't use those typically for the feelings they give them to us for. And I put it in my air fryer at 375 for about 10 minutes and it cooks it. So I could do it on the stove, but then I'm dirtying a pot. Um, so this way I just eat it out of that little paper ramekin. It's amazing. It really is good. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. So that's typically what my fueling number two is. My fueling number three is typically uh, more of a savory one. It's lunchtime. Um, so I will do something like the rustic tomato penne, the, uh, the tomato, whatever the chili recipe is, I like that. I do not like the macaroni and cheese. I bought the reformulated macaroni and cheese. It is still disgusting to me. Um, you may like it and that's fine. Mine will be made into crackers. I've got a video on how to do that so you can check that out. Um, but I will also do uh, the potatoes and I have two boxes of the sour cream and chive potatoes. I like to take these Put it in uh, my thermos with a um, cup of hot water and whisk it really well, seal it up. I do that like when I have my first or second fueling of the day so it's got a couple of hours to sit in the thermos. It makes amazing potato soup. So if you haven't tried that yet, I know I've talked about it before. Um, I do also like to, to just make it as potatoes or to make it as a potato waffle and then air fry it and make it crispy. I, I like to do all those, but right now I'm really into the potato soup. Um, it's really easy to eat at my desk when I'm working, um, so that's a good one. Um, another thing that's really good for uh, lunch is ooh, the wild rice um, and chicken uh, soup is really good. This one has a little vegetables, it's got a little few peas and carrots, which you normally don't get on Optavia, but they formulated their fueling so that those are okay. Um, they have a chicken noodle soup. I think that one's been reformulated. I'm not sure if I've had that. Um, I think I got it in my last box and I haven't eaten it yet. So, um, but this one I do, I did like it originally and I think that one's been reformulated too. Um, and then, so those are kind of my fueling number three. Fueling number four, usually a shake. Um, so I've got a couple of peanut butter, I've got a peanut butter shake, I've got a chocolate shake, I have lots of shakes, um, and I've got a box of the hot chocolate, which I also like, um, that makes a great mid-afternoon fueling. Um, the other thing that I found that I really like to do with the shakes is to mix them, mix an envelope of shake with an envelope of one of the sweet dessert type things, um, like the brownie or the chocolate chip cookie, and bake them into two cookies. I've got a video about that. Um, that's one of my favorite things now. Those cookies are, it's like, it's literally like a regular cookie. It is totally great. You get one cookie, it comes out about that big for a cookie per fueling, which is an awesome, like end of the day, sweet treat, um, or throw it in a Ziploc bag when you've got to um, be in the car for a while. That makes a great fueling. Um, instead of using a bar or a cruncher, I really try to stay away from those prepackaged fuelings as much as possible. I try to limit myself to just one a day um, because I, my body seems to respond better. So what else do I have in here? Um, I bought the honey sweet potatoes because I have a couple of, I didn't really care for them, but I have a couple of fun with fueling ideas. Um, and I really wanted to try these. These are actually being discontinued, but I thought I would give this a try because, um, again, I've got some fun with fueling ideas, so stay tuned for that. I also got the chocolate pudding, um, which I love. I got the golden butterscotch blondie. I got the 
Uh, believe it or not, I know most of my um, subscribers who know, who've been around for a while, know that I don't like the brownie. However, I have developed a taste for it. So this does happen as you um, go through the program and when you've been on for a while, things that you might not have liked at the beginning, your taste change and you start to like them. So the brownie is one of those things. I don't cook it as a brownie because I don't like the texture of it just as a brownie, but I do use it to make those cookies and they are phenomenal. This brownie mixed with the chocolate fudge pudding as in making it into cook two cookies, the it tastes just like a, one of those little brownie bites. It's, they're bigger than that, but they kind of have that same flavor. So I love those. And uh, the chewy chocolate chip cookie, that's another one that is amazing. And then finally I got two boxes and I pretty much get two boxes every time of the cinnamon cre cream cheese swirl cake. This is another one that's being discontinued. Makes me very sad. Four boxes of this coming the next time, uh, just because I don't know when they're gonna be gone. And once they're gone, they're gone. If there was just some way that they could cancel everything but keep this one, I would be so happy. So anyway, that's my what came in my fueling box this time. Um, if you've got ideas for how I can use these, remember I don't hack my fuelings. I only use water, but I will combine them or I will um, cook them in a different manner, but I don't add egg whites. I don't add baking powder. I don't add cinnamon. I don't add stevia. I add nothing to my fuelings other than occasionally some black coffee. Um, but other than that, um, no almond milk, nothing. Just straight up water. I am sticking to this program. My word is steadfast. Steadfastly following this program exactly as it is written. And I hope that what I provide to you on this channel is encouraging for you as well. I don't expect that everybody is going to follow the program the way I do, but this is what works for me. and. Um, I'm seeing the success and I don't want that success to stop. So I'm not going to mess with it. I hope that you are encouraged that you have some, maybe some ideas of feelings that you haven't tried that you want to try. And um, until, and please leave me comments in the comments down below. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and like this video. If you've hung around this long through this video and you're still here, please subscribe to my channel. And until I see you next time, please live in the light.